This is the second video for chapter two, lecture notes, part two. We're going to need to prepare a trial balance. Okay, so to do the trial balance, and, and here's what it's going to look like, where we're proving that the debits all total up to 15,100 and equal the total of all the credits, which are 15,100. I think it's easier just to do T accounts first for all the accounts. I have the T accounts written in black. My handwriting's not the best in the world when I write on a computer screen. They say the iPads are great now, but I'm using a Surface and um, I'm left handed. I probably should have switched the sides. It might have been a little easier. All right, so um, we have. Um, Cash, and the first item here, cash is three thousand dollar debit, and I've changed the color of the pen, so um, I think that'll help. And the next one is common stock, three thousand dollars, and I abbreviated common stock, and it's a credit. Remember the normal balance for investments, equity, is a credit. Now we're done with this and I have two check marks and every time you notice I, I check it off but in the real world in the real world when we were manual years ago the um, posting reference PR we would write in general journal general ledger sorry page number whatever and we write it there and it would let us know where we posted that we posted all right enough of that but we don't use that now and um, I'm just using a check mark to let me know that I've done it so cash and this second journal entry is 5400 I'm gonna write it right there come on there we go check mark service fee or revenue is also 5400 and there it is service fee supplies is an asset debit increases a uh, asset the normal balance for supplies or an asset is a debit counts payable the normal balance is a hundred dollars counts payable if you notice I abbreviated accounts payable AP and accounts receivable AR Gas and oil expense, debit, the expenses have a normal balance of a debit. Cash is credited for 800. If I had more room, I might just put the 800 here and just go down, but I don't have, I didn't leave myself a lot of room, so I'm just going to start at the very tippy top of um, the credit side. Salaries expense, $5,000. Cash credit five thousand dollars. Counts receivable six hundred debit. Service fee earned. You know revenue's normal balance is a credit. Now again, we did these journal entries in in the first video for this chapter two lecture notes series part two so video one for chapter two lecture note part two contains where we went over these journal entries so if you hadn't watched the first video you need to um talk, started talking i forgot where it was service fee is a credit i got one more and i didn't leave myself a lot of room i'll just squeeze it in Debit cash, $6,000. Service fee earned, 6000 There we go. Going to end up um, not leaving myself enough room. Let me move salaries expense. How much was salaries expense? 
5,000. Okay. Equipment rental expense, 2,500. Cash, $2,500 credit, right? Yeah. And dividends. Remember, dividends is a contra equity account. So equity, which is common stock investments, is normally a credit balance. That's what increases equity, common stock, for example, credit. Contra equity, which is dividends, cash dividends, is the opposite. And the opposite of a credit is a debit. So we debit dividends, $2,000. And we credit cash, $2,000. Didn't leave myself a lot of room for um, cash either, did I? I'll just write that really small. Accounts payable. Okay, so let's get some totals for the balances. Okay. This one, I'm not going to do the math. I'm just going to tell you it ends up being a debit balance of 4100 So what you do is you add up the debits, subtract the credits, and that's how you get that number. So again, it'd be 3000 plus 5400 plus 6000 and then just subtract out the 800 to 5000 to 2500 and the, this is a 2000 and you'll get a 4100. This is the larger side. So, when you do it this way, it's a positive number and that is 4100. Or you could just add up the debits, add up the credit. The bigger side is where the difference is written. So, you know what, let me just show you that. Actually, it's really important to do this together. Let's do that together. So 3,000 plus 5,400 plus 6,000. Okay, so when we do that, I'm trying to move quickly because I don't want a 30 minute video. It's 14,400. And then you add up the credit side, which is 800 plus 5,000, plus 2,500, and then we're missing the 2,000. I erased it by accident, plus 2,000. And you get 10,300. This is the larger side, so that means when I write down the balance, I'm just gonna get rid of the accounts payable. When I write down the balance, I'll write it here, and the difference between the two is 4,100. And again, this is a larger side, so the difference of these two numbers, of 4,100 goes on this side right here, okay? And let's get that accounts payable back in here. And it was a $100 credit. All right, so 4,100 cash is, I mean, accounts receivable is 600. There's only one entry, right? I mean, it's the only thing it could be, right? Let's be consistent. I was using blue. $100 debit for supplies. $100 credit for accounts payable. $3,000 for common stock. $2,000 for div. And it's easy when there's only one entry, right? $5,400 for service fees plus $600, which is $6,000 plus $6,000 is $12,000 credit balance. Gas and oil is 800, equipment and rentals 2500, and salary expenses a debit of 5000. Now you need those numbers to complete the trial balance. Okay, so I also wrote these in the order that I'll prepare the trial balance in. So before we look at the numbers and compare them to what I just did, let's look at something that's very important, I think. Cat, hmm, there we go. Cash, accounts, receivable, supplies. Those are all assets, right? 
So that's assets. And then we have an account payable, just one. We only had one liability. Then we have equity. Okay, so we have assets, liability, and equity, don't we? Now we have revenue next, and then we have expenses. And that's the order you want this written in. You want assets and liabilities, then equity, then revenue, then expenses on your first trial balance, okay? And this says, hmm, hmm, come on. This is the, uh, I don't think these things are made for left-handed people. All right, so this is the unadjusted. Probably should put that right there in front of the trial balance. We should call it the unadjusted trial balance. And we'll talk more about that later. But this is the unadjusted trial balance. So let's start looking at the numbers. 4100 from cash. We just did that T account. There it is. And then accounts receivable, 600, supplies, 100. 600, 100. Both debits, right? Debit, debit, debit. They're all three debits. Right, accounts payable 100. Right there, and common stock is next. Credit 3,000. Yes, dividend 2,000. Now, it's a debit, right? Now, this is where things get crazy. See how we've gone like this with the balances? So, you'll have to be very careful that you always write this is the debit column. And that's the credit column, right? So we just did dividends, 2,000, and we got it right there. Revenue, where it's 12,000, credit. And then expense, 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 they're all debits, 800, 2,500, 5,000. 800, 2,500, 5,000. So disregarding that we know it's correctly done and it's balanced, right now all we would have is numbers written down, some credits and some debits, right? When you add up the debit side, 4,100, 600, 100, 2,000, 800, 2,500, 5,000, you get 15,100. And for the credits, 12,000 plus 3,000 plus 100 is 15,100. And they, the debits equal each other. So this is a great trial balance, and we are in great shape. All right, so in the next video, I'm going to work with you on the income statement in the statement of retained earnings in the balance sheet. So stay tuned for video three.